Let me start today with something that really shouldn't be controversial, but somehow might be. Minecraft makes more sense than the Flat Earth model. And today I'm going to explain exactly why. Hello all and welcome along to another video with me, Simon Dan. Thanks very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a quick word from me with an update on the Simon Dan Book Club. Hi everyone, quick update on the Simon Dan Book Club. I'm finalising box one uh, for the Simon Dan Book Club this week. That's what I've been doing, working really hard. So here is exactly what you'll get in box one. You get the book, obviously, uh, one that fits the themes of the channel perfectly. You get the physical box with a science-themed gift that I've picked specifically. There's also an A5 card explaining why I chose the book and some notes from me on the book in general. Members get access to the private Discord so we can actually talk about the book properly. Plus you get a private video uh, from me just to all members of the book club. And now today I have finalized the small founding member gift. It will only go in box one. There'll be nothing like it from any other boxes in future. I finalised that. First box ships in March. You need to be in by February the 10th to get that founding member gift. Just go to simandanbookclub.com uh, to have a look for yourself. As I said before, there's a digital version too. I'm so excited to show you this first box. Check it out, join the club, and this physical box will be winging its way to you full of goodies. Thanks so much for your support. Uh, we are now at 150 founding members. It's an incredible response, it really is. Thank you so much. See you soon. So on with today's video then, which as I said in the intro, is all about Minecraft making more sense than Flat Earth. And yes, I'm aware of what I just said. Minecraft is a video game. It's made of cubes, the sun is square. You can survive a fall from 200 meters by landing in a puddle. None of this, of course, is in dispute. But here's the important part. Minecraft is honest about what it is. It never pretends to be reality or explain the real world. It never demands that you reject physics or navigation or timekeeping or satellites to make it work. Flat Earth does though, and this is sort of the joke. Minecraft is also flat, yet somehow more internally consistent, more predictable and more coherent than a model that actually tries to explain the universe we live in. So today I want to compare the two, not because Minecraft is realistic, but because Flat Earth is so unrealistic it loses to a video game. So where do we start? Well, Minecraft admits it's fake. It starts from a position of radical honesty. It says this is a game, these are the rules, nothing outside the rules matters. If something behaves strangely in Minecraft, the explanation is simple. That's how the game works. Nobody pretends it's secretly doing something else behind the scenes. Nobody claims there's a hidden version of Minecraft that only the enlightened or awake understand. Flat Earth though does the opposite. It presents itself as reality, then spends the rest of its time explaining why reality doesn't behave like it should. Planes fly the wrong way, perspective. Stars move, perspective. Sunsets exist, perspective again. GPS working, fake. Satellites are balloons. And the space agencies are all working together to fake space. Minecraft never needs excuses, whereas Flat Earth survives on them. And that's the huge difference. Like we said with the Lord of the Rings video last week, fiction that admits it's fiction can have rules. Pseudoscience that pretends it's reality has to constantly rewrite them. Next up, we're going to talk about geometry and maps. In Minecraft, the geometry is simple. The world is flat. It's made of blocks and distances are consistent. If you walk north for a certain amount of time and then turn around and walk south for the same amount of time, you end up back where you started. The map behaves the way a map should. No one's ever had to invent a secret Minecraft map because the public one isn't the real one. Flat Earth maps, on the other hand, are a disaster. Australia changes size depending on the argument being made. South America looks like it's been stretched in Photoshop. The distances only work if nobody checks them. And flight paths only make sense if you pretend that flights don't fly where they obviously fly. And the moment you bring up actual measured distances, the response is always the same. The map is wrong, or it's symbolic, or it's not meant to be taken literally. Or there's a better map that you're not allowed to see yet. 
The Minecraft map works because it's designed to be used. Flat Earth maps fail because they're designed to be believed, not tested. Okay, next up then is the sun and day and night cycle. Minecraft has a sun that rises, moves across the sky and then sets. It does this at a fixed rate. You can predict it. You can plan around it. You can build things knowing exactly where the sun's going to be and when. Flat Earth sun, on the other hand, well... I think we know the flaws in that one, don't we? Sometimes it's small, sometimes it's large. Sometimes it's very local, sometimes it's not very local. Sometimes it's plasma, sometimes it's electrical, sometimes it's a hologram. And sometimes it's just a light in the firmament. Ask 10 flat earthers how the sun works and you'll get 11 answers. And one of them will definitely involve Tesla. Minecraft never has to explain why the sun doesn't visibly shrink when it sets because it actually goes below the horizon in the game's logic. Flat Earth has to explain why the sun disappears without getting smaller, which is something perspective simply cannot do. The game gets this right by committing to its internal rules. Flat Earth refuses to commit itself to anything long enough for it to be checked. Next up then is gravity versus density. In Minecraft, gravity exists because the developers decided it would. Everything falls at the same rate everywhere in that world. Nobody argues about why, nobody invents alternatives, it's consistent. Now Flat Earth rejects gravity and then desperately tries to reinvent it by coming up with different words. Objects fall because of density apparently, except when they don't. Balloons rise but clouds float. Birds fly but planes need engines. Smoke goes up but rain comes down. Somehow everything behaves as if gravity exists but without gravity. Minecraft doesn't try to be clever with this. Flat Earth does and fails every time. And the irony is that Minecraft gravity is actually simpler than Flat Earth explanations. One rule applied universally with no exceptions. And the Flat Earth explanations are nothing but exceptions. Right, next then we're gonna tackle edges, border and Antarctica. Minecraft has an edge. When you reach it, the game tells you you've reached it. End of story. No mystery, no conspiracy, no treaties. And Flat Earth has... Antarctica, a place that simultaneously exists, doesn't exist, has a wall, doesn't have a wall, is guarded, isn't guarded, is off limits, but also visited regularly by scientists and tourists and explorers. If Antarctica really were the edge of the world, it would be the most poorly guarded secret in human history. Minecraft doesn't say you can't go there because reasons. Flat Earth does. Next up then, we've got agreement and consensus. Minecraft works because everyone agrees how it works. Players might argue about strategy, but not about whether the sun exists or if the ground is real. Flat Earth can't even agree with itself. There are several factions of Flat Earthers all arguing over everything. There's no standard model, no agreed map. There's no agreed explanation for the sky, the sun or space. Every disagreement is brushed off as controlled opposition or still researching. At some point, research actually has to produce something that works. Minecraft did that, Flat Earth didn't. Here's the uncomfortable takeaway with all of this one. Minecraft is fake, and because it knows it's fake, it can be coherent. Flat Earth claims to be real, but because it's not, it cannot survive contact with reality. If a deliberately fictional block game can produce a more consistent universe than a model that claims to describe the real one, the problem isn't imagination, it's denial. And that is why Minecraft makes more sense than the Flat Earth theory. Because even fiction respects the rules. And I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this one from the Flat Earthers. They'll say something like, how can a flat world make more sense than Flat Earth? I think I've just explained why, guys. And that is gonna be that for another video. Please do let me know in the comments what you thought of this comparison with Minecraft. Uh, and also, if you would like to see me compare other things with Flat Earth, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching today. As ever, it's appreciated. If you enjoyed it, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the thumbs up button too. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a fantastic day and I'll see you tomorrow for the return of Anthony Bear. He's got more models to show us. He's trying to figure out great circles. It doesn't go well. See you then.